Many people have been commenting about how intuitive machines Nova Sea Lander has a high centre of mass and a narrow base, and how this almost certainly contributed to it falling over after landing. There are good reasons why engineers chose this design. Firstly, the core of the vehicle includes the main engine and the fuel and oxidizer tanks sitting on top. The fuel and oxidizer have different masses and burn at different rates, so if these were put side by side, it would mean the centre of mass would move from one side to the other as it burned propellant. On the Morpheus lander, they kept the centre of mass in the middle by splitting both propellant tanks into two, but this takes more mass for the extra tanks and the extra plumbing. The legs are fixed, they don't need a deployment mechanism, and they are as wide as possible for the Falcon 9 fairing. And all the Intuitive Machines missions are going to polar locations where the Sun and the Earth are low on the horizon. The tall lander can be an advantage here because it gets solar panels and antenna up above ground clutter that can interfere. The fix isn't to re-engineer the lander, but to ensure that when it lands it does so with minimal horizontal velocity.